Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in the Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod, version 1.03.2, part 1 of the Quality of Life update. Right now, let's begin with a focus as Austria, the United States of Austria, Hungary. We could do Legacy of the Valkyrie, but I don't think we want to really form the army yet. We could do the Industrial Overhaul Plan. Oh, we could do questioning the current balance of power. Let's go and do that one. Several liberal and conservative politicians with the Empire started to question the current balance of power within, between the Kaiser and the Reichsrat. And as you can see, I've already set things up off screen. Uh, perhaps maybe except for the Air Force. Uh, yeah, I forgot about these guys. Austrian compromise of 1867, shall we? The dual monarchy of the Empire of Austria and the Kingdom of Hungary was established by Austro-Hungarian Compromise of Ausgleich of 1867, caused by a decline of Austrian strength and power in both the Italian peninsula as a result of the Second Italian War of Independence of 1859 and among the states of the German Confederation. It had been surpassed by Prussia as a dominant German-speaking power following the Austro-Prussian War of 1866. The Compromise re-established the full sovereignty of the Kingdom of Hungary, which was lost after the Hungarian Revolution of 1848. It also contains one autonomous region, the Kingdom of Croatia Slavonia, under the Hungarian crown, which negotiated the Croatian-Hungarian states were co-equal in power. Oh, following the 1867 reforms, uh, the Austrian-Hungarian states were co-equal in power. Foreign and military affairs came under joint oversight, but all but all other governmental faculties were divided between their respective states. After 1878, Bosnia and Herzegovina became under Austro-Hungarian military and civilian rule until it was fully annexed in 1809 or 1908 provoking the Bosnian crisis among other powers. This caused a relationship with the Russian Empire to deteriorate significantly, which previously helped them crush the Hungarian Revolution of 1848. Following the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand and Sarajevo, Bosnia on June 28, 1914, Austria-Hungary issued an ultimatum to Serbia, who believed could organize assassination, starting the July Crisis. What could, what, have remained another, what could have remained another Balkan War led to the outbreak of the Valkyrie between the Central Powers and the Triple Entente. Interesting to know. The Valkyrie in 1927 Ausgleich. <clears throat> Austria-Hungary initially struggled to take out Serbia, but with Bulgarian and German aid, Serbia was overrun in 1915. The Russians were meanwhile pushed back in the east by mostly the Germans after an initial successful invasion into Galicia. When Italy entered the war on the side of the Allies, a new front opened for the Austro-Hungarians. They started with trench warfare in the Alpine Mountains, but with German support they managed to win the famous Battle of Caporetto. When the Treaty of Brest-Litovsk was signed in 1918, the Austro-Hungarians tried their best to keep their empire alive and make an end to the war as soon as possible. They did so by attacking the Italians to capture Venice. The Germans were preparing for their spring, <coughs> excuse me, spring offensive to end the deadlock on the Western Front. Without any German support, the Austro-Hungarian army captured Venice in less than a week, causing the Italians to surrender. The Austro-Hungarians crossed the French border in 19 April of 1918. When they captured Nice and Marseille without any resistance, the Germans launched their spring offensive. This caused another revolution in France. The British had accidentally sunk a U.S. vessel heading for Sweden during the Russian Revolution. This caused the British to stop their blockade and prevent the U.S. from entering the war or the famine from happening in Central Europe. But the other Central Powers weren't doing so great. The Ottomans surrendered in 1918, and Bulgaria was completely overrun by February 1919. This caused Austro-Hungarians to send forces to the Balkans to prevent further ad Allied advance. Before their forces could arrive, though, the French government was overthrown by the revolution. The French communists surrendered by 19 in April 1919. The other powers fo soon followed afterwards, bringing an end to the Valkyrie and the start of the rivalry between the German Empire and Austria-Hungary. After the victory of the Valkyrie, Karl I tried his best to keep the dual monarchy intact by introducing reforms. But the empire was in a chaotic shape. The industry and economy were still recovering from the Valkyrie, and people were traumatized by the millions of losses in the Valkyrie. The false Ausgleich after the Valkyrie took place in 1927, but due to heavy disagreements with the Hungarians, Karl I abdicated during the Ausgleich. His son Otto quickly followed him up and made a costly agreement with the Hungarians. Otto was forced to transfer most of the power to the Reichsrat. This made the Austro-Hungarian Empire from an autocratic monarchy to a constitutional one. Interesting to note, as you can see, we're using the State Chester Tool mod. Goodbye! Player of the Peace Conferences, and we're using the Victory of the Dual Monarchy mod. Other than that, that's pretty much it. No colored buttons, no colored events, nothing else special. We're currently building some civilian industry. We're trading a lot of our ships. Uh, actually, I haven't, I haven't messed with this at all. Fighters, close air support, naval bombers. I'm actually okay with all this right now. Ooh, do we have everything that we want, though? Oh, that would be pretty good to do as well. Uh, we got some ships here to do with. King George V dies. Goodbye, King George V. Have a good life. Or I guess you're dead. So, no more life for you. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, let's see. Do we anything else here, really? Like, one, two, three, four, five. And we have one, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, payment received. Very good. The Russians have just sent us the Brest Litovsk payment for the month. Good. Ah, oh, we should look at the national spirit. So we have a multi-ethnic nation, which is, oh boy, tensions with the Hungarians and Romanians and Bosnians and Serbs are very high. House of Hapsburg, Lothringen. Victors of the Valkyrie, which hurts us quite a bit. We have stagnated economy. Oh boy. 
Questioning the current balance of power, we have the Hungarian opposition, which sucks. We have memories of 1927 Ausgleich as well, as well as the brest litovsk payment received. Okay. Ever since the catastrophe, or the catastrophic, Ausgleich negotiations, uh, negotiations of 27, the Emperor of Austria and the King of Hungary were forced to cede the majority of his power towards the Reichsrat. He is currently able to intervene the, with government decisions and is able to call emergency powers, but the Reichsrat still has to authorize the call. The Reichsrat currently exists of the House of Deputies and House of Representatives. Both houses are ordered to suspect or inspect the government, but there are several liberal and conservative politicians who question the current balance of power. The current conservatives want the Kaiser to gain more authority over his government by allowing him to elect his ministers, while the more liberal politicians want the Kaiser to only have representative powers in, Europe, in the empire. Meanwhile, he's only allowed he's only allowed to agree upon the new laws, which will be our new approach to the balance of power. Democratic? Select ministers. So, um, I have already played as the Russian Republic and played as a Democratic Russian Republic in this campaign. And I th I don't remember exactly, but I think last time I played as Austria-Hungary, or the United States of Austria-Hungary, in the victory for the Dual Monarchy mod, I think I won power to the Habsburgs. I think I could be really, really wrong about that. Increase his tension level, but I think for this one, I would do the power to the Reichstag to make it a little different. I don't normally do not like playing... Uh, democracies, but let's do that one. Power to the Reichstag, shall we? It's clear the time for all, all powerful monarchs is over. If we are to become a modern nation, we need to give more power to the common man and limit the power of the Habsburg. For a year, we get more stability and more daily democracy support, which should decrease tension with a ra random ethnic nation or group. Bosnians increases tension with Bosnians. Oh, and Serbs? Oh, allow freedom of speech. An enlightening constitution. Securing religious freedom. Balance the electoral rights. All right. So the Ausgleich, power of the Reichsrat, power the, to the Habsburgs, withdraw from dualism. Now we could go down this way. The United States of Greater Austria, revise the constitution and the Hungarian opposition. Oh, another payment. Very nice. Deal with the opposition. Bring minorities to their knees. Huh. Riots in Bosnia and Croatia. Several people have attacked factories in Bosnia and Croatia. Local police force estimated about 100 people have been arrested for the crimes. Alright. Return of the Empire. Pride of the Habsburgs. But monarchy is back in faction. Reclaim the Empire. Oh boy. <clears throat> Whoa. Wow, we get a lot of claims and stuff. So, uh, while the capture of Venice was majorly a certain much needed victory for their people, we must remember all those who gave their lives to capture it. The war's efforts on society and the people will be felt for many years to come. All we can do is hope for another war like the Valkyrie will never happen again in our life. We will honor those fallen. Consider the Danubian Federation. Ooh. Institutionalize the Danubian Confederation. The deal with the Hungarians. The United Industrial Planning. Legislative reforms. Liberalization. Education reforms. Nice. The Danubian Omni Oba Commando. Cool. And reassure our Balkan dominance. Ooh, electrical mechanic, mechanical engineering is done. Mechanical engineering again. And what else do we have? Or we can do status quo. Greater autonomy with Cislatenia. Decreases tensions with the Hungarians. Common man recruitment. Uh, equal education opportunities. Dualism revisited. Or revitalized. That seems like the way we should probably go since I'm going democratic anyways, but we don't have to do that. The crown land situation. Hmm. Crown lands? We'll be released after doing this. Well, we can't do this one because that have to be after 1937. Another research slot, United Federal Government. Uh, the crown land solution. I don't think we have that national spirit yet, do we? Multi-ethnic. Vectors. Stagnant economy. Power of the Reichsrat? No, we do not. Well, then. Political stability. I'm led by Otto von Habsburg Lothringen, so. Hmm. Hmm. Withdraw from dualism. Probably would be a good idea. I'll be honest, like, before I did this, I don't. I didn't even, like, realize what we were doing here, so too much. <laughs> Deal with the Hungarians. You know, we're currently democratic. Danubian Federation time? Did I go to the Danubian Federation? I might have gotten the Danubian Federation. Maybe we'll do the Ausgleich anyways. Or centralized. I don't, nah. I'm just going to do a lot of freedom of speech. <clears throat> we can learn something from the Americans. Freedom of speech is an important part of any democratic nation. Without letting the people have a say or express their views, one cannot truly call themselves a true republic or democracy. Oh, we have... Oh, well, we can lower tensions, huh? 
Decrease the tension with one random ethnic group. Expand factories. Civilian construction speed. Ooh, that's not bad. Decrease the tension over the Hungarians. Encourage education in Bosnia. Alright, interesting. Uh, but do we have anyone else here that's a... Payment received? Nice. Democracy... No person who gives more political power. Never mind, found him. I'm gonna get that one first. Oh, we have no, uh... Fuel. Power to the Reichstrat. So, you know what? Maybe we'll just go full democracy. Status quo. You know what? I might just go with status quo. Because I will play Austria-Hungary, probably, or United States of Austria-Hungary several different times. But if you could remind me, did I go with... I think... It sounds like I would have gone with, uh... The Danubian Federation already. But, once again, a riot occurred, this time in the city of Prague. But during this riot, roughly 20 people die when the police try to stop the riot in the factories. That's getting absolutely out of control. Oh, boy. How much political power are we getting? 0.75... Yeah, let's do that. I might just do status quo. Just to see what would happen. Just try just to try it out. But all possible ethnic minorities. Or as not has approved. Oh, payment received. Great. Let's see. We make some machine tools. A six level agreement has been made with all the Ausklass attendees. Well, that sounds pretty difficult. If we have to, we can go down that way too. That's fine with me. Let's, I want to do the Ausklash. We're gonna try it. No matter how good, no matter how bad, it is what it is. Sigismund, uh, I want you to be offens offensive. And we're out of command power now, wow. Also, we have the garrisons here, led by Xander. Which is fine. Boom, 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 boom. Now, I don't exactly remember where we have all of our little guys here, but let's see. Uh, Singapore. Oh, we have Singapore too. Nice. I like Singapore. Oh, yeah, this area too. Oh, yeah, Malta. Good. All right. So, ensuring political stability, we could do that, or we could do industrial overall plan. Once we begin planning for a rebuilding of our economy, if we were to fix the backward way it works, the plans must rectify these issues and come to fruition. Nice. Let's go and throw you guys here. And what do we need? More army XP. We got enough artillery. We need some motorized. We need some support equipment. All right. Not bad. So doing this. And there's no historical focuses or anything like that. There, there's not the, that that option does not exist in when I set up the game. So it is what it is. <clears throat> so once we get this one done, we might be able to actually get this silent workhorse, which I really really want because I love political power, stability, weekly change, slowly going up. I love it. Nice, better panzers. Hopefully we can afford them. Uh, anything else? Artillery, not looking great. Let's grab some of this. That'd be nice and. Our planes, not bad, not bad, not bad. We're gonna use these three, so we're okay with that. I don't think the navy is gonna be a major part of this, but it might be. It might be. So, oh, actually, how much political power will we have? Oh, you know what? We're gonna wait a few days to get stuff in. Light tanks, thank you very much. I want to wait until we get, I don't know, 150, because I want to start getting this done, so we can start lowering et more ethnic tensions. And very good, beautiful. So. New construction stuff or colonial investments? That wouldn't be too bad. They get all political, some political power. Develop Ukraine. Vienna removes the effects of stock market crash. Huh? Develop East Indies. Fortify the border. Protect the Suez and Malta would be really nice to do. Develop Creek and stuff. We'll have to do that one eventually. Uh, secure religious freedoms. More than 65% support. Let's do ensuring political stability. Now that we've been giving more and more power to the people, we need to secure and stabilize the nation in order to make sure that while the people have their say, it, was not, it will not upset the balance of the country. So now we get at least one. That's nice. We went from 0.7 or 0.75 or whatever to one. More payment. All right. Power of the Reichstrat as well. Uh, yeah. Rise in Budapest and Krakow. Now Budapest and Krakow are the victims of the riots that have hit our country over the past few months. Although damage was less compared to previous times, the show shows our stability issue. This is getting seriously out of control. Oh boy. Oh, that's not good. Oh, look at that negative political power. Hi, 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 hi. Hungarians, can you just, like, chill? Like, Romanians, Serbs, Bosnians, can you just, like, hang out? Can we just have, like, a good time with each other? Because the figurehead, Bosnians and Serbs already are pretty high, aren't they? Yeah, let's not do that one yet, maybe. We'll do try to secure the religious freedoms. There's no reason why any country should have a say over what religion one should follow. 
We should give the freedom of religion to the people. Man, Austria's really grown since the molden days. I received. Nice. Great. Well, it's time for the Vienna stock market crash, shall we? On the early morning of August 3rd, the biggest stock market in the world opened with yet another decline of value compared to the previous week, but this time it was so big, lots of people started to sell their stocks to avoid a complete loss of their investment. This caused the stock market to plunge and every stock lost its value. Minutes after this, dozens of people ran to the local banks trying to desperately to save their holdings before the bank went bankrupt. Several other groups of people lost all their holdings and became homeless. Companies within Austria-Hungary also... Also, their holdings became worthless, and many are facing bankruptcy. An economic depression that the world has never seen is before is about to begin. Oh, boy, I'm not selecting that. Are you kidding me? God, Lord, good Lord, no, 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 no. Carl Uglesier, I love Carl Uglesier. Love him, love it, love it. You guys are all trained and nice and tidy? Cool. Oh. Canceled. Has been canceled for a limited period of time to allow them to recover from the Vienna stock market crash. We demand the payments will be continued by afterwards. We understand the struggle. All right, that's fine. We understand the struggle. It's definitely a struggle here. So we're all on the struggle bus. General lobbying effort will be aborted when aborted. Wait, are we doing abortions here? Huh. <clears throat> also, Russia bank closed bankruptcy after the stock market crash in Vienna. Many people were rushing to the banks to attempt to save their remaining assets. The situation has escalated to the point where the Ostrasia Bank is close to bankruptcy. Uh, the government does not intervene in some way. The bank will collapse and take the other banks down with it. But there's been some debate as to what we do with the bank. Oh, if you're right. Let's see. Aftermath. Demo. Close it for now. Bail out the banks. Well, we don't have stability, so... You know what, let's bail them out. See what happens. Now this initial chaos of the stock market crash has died down, we can start looking at the long-term consequences the crash will have on our economy, politics, and society. Probably not good, especially considering how much political power we don't have, and I should have spent some political power already here, but whatever. Um, oh, Ruthenia, tensions is low. We love Ruthenia. Upper class opposes bailout of the bank. <clears throat> Several groups of people of the upper class have shown no support in the decision to bail out the Osterasha Bank to prevent it from going bankrupt. Does this help at all? Eh, whatever. Settling or securing religious freedoms. <clears throat> we all know by now that our empire is one of the ethnically dis most ethnically diverse empires in the world, but it's sad to say within our empire, not all people are able to follow the religion in a rightful way. The religion of Bosnia and Herzegovina in particular consists of mostly ethnic Muslims and do not have the right to follow the traditional uh, traditions of Islam. Another notable region is Galicia, which consists of mostly ethnic Poles and Ruthenians who follow an Eastern Orthodox religion. Several issues within these regions have been mostly been caused by, our, by their religious difference, especially in Bosnia and Herzegovina. Rather than forcing them to adopt more Western religions such as Protestant or Catholic Christianity, we are better off giving them the freedom to follow the traditions of their own religion. Those have caused less instability within the regions in the long run. This had to happen sometime. You get 10 political power. Wow. So, uh, yep, so, decreased tension, it's not bad, Ruthenians, Bosnians, so, hey, actually, that's not too bad. Well, it doesn't seem like it did much with the Bosnians, though. <laughs> so, high, low, which is good. The Romanians went back low, which is nice. That's actually really nice to have the, Bo the Romanians low. Obviously, I'm not sure what's going to happen in this campaign, but I suppose the goal is to probably beat up the Russians, beat up everyone in the Balkans who don't like us, and here's a faction map mode, too. The Donau Adria Pact, with Ukraine, basically, with us. Serbia, Montenegro, probably beat up, maybe beat up the Bulgarians, the Romanians, Albanians, Greeks, probably, maybe even Germany. I, there's no guarantee, but maybe we'll do that as well. Uh, we probably want to get more daily democracy support as well, but I'm going to lower tensions. Work for the workless. Let's see, not bad. Resources to market zero. Bail out the national companies. Ooh. Stabilizing inflation. 70 days, 90 days, 90 days, 70 days. I don't ever remember which way I go. I need to play Austria like more often, or play this mod more often, for me to really remember. It's 1936. Ships. We're actually looking okay. We're not going to use carriers, apparently, so let's grab this one. Nice. All right, anything else here? No, that's a little bit ahead of time. Uh, we, uh, let's grab some field hospitals, because I think we'll definitely need those guys, seeing as we're playing as Austria, and it looks like we're probably going to go pretty darn democratic. So, we'll see what happens. Strikes in Vienna and Budapest. They began to erupt in most of the factories in the cities of Vienna and Budapest. The strikes mostly have erupted due to bankruptcy of many companies in Vienna and Budapest. These need to be dealt with fast before they spread to other cities in the empire. This will all blow over. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna... Ooh, you know what? It seems like this might be better. Maybe? I'm going to bail the national companies, though. Several national companies within our empire have had a very high debt since the stock market crash. But then the government bailing out the companies, we can prevent them from going bankrupt. Although this will come at a high cost and could hurt our economy in the long run. 
It is what it is. Oh, okay. We can't even build Jack Squat. But I do have a cup of coffee here, even though we're completely bankrupt and I can't afford anything. All I know is that if you the stock market, just go ahead and hold. Uh, the Russian Republic has continued the breast of the task payments. We were to successfully receive the first payment from them. They kept the promise. Good. We like the Russians. But yeah, we knew the stock market hurting, holding certain, you know, goods. You want to hold. Like expected, the strikes started in Vienna and Budapest have now expired to Prague. The government has already started discussing the strikes and how to solve them. Well, there's nothing I can really do about it except watch and as a country dies. Ooh, radio. To me, it's all just a game, right? It's all just a game. You don't want to stop holding. Hmm. I might have gotten involved. Anyways. Erhard Rouse. I love Erhard Rouse. I, 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 really, I, I really do like Erhard Rouse. At least in Hoi 4. As well as Carl Egosia. I always use those generals. I love them. Great. Love them. Yum yum. When I finish the Russian campaign, the Russian Republic campaign for victory of the dual monarchy, some people do want me to play as Germany. So if there's enough support for me, I will play as Germany. Oh, people receive nice. Have I played as Germany in this mod before? I might have. I might not. I can't remember, man. Hey, you know what? Let me know in the comments below. For the comments for this video. When I play as Germany, should I go with the SPD? Should I go as the DVP? Or the DNVP? Let me know. Um, the emergency elections. Nice. Let me know in the comments below, because I will keep that in mind. I'll, I'll write it down on a piece of paper to remind myself. So, remembering or remembering the death of Franz Joseph I. It was such a loss when he died that it struck deep in the hearts of all people within the Austro-Hungarian people. He was loved by many and dedicated his life to the better his country. We shall remember him for the good of the man he was. He shall not be forgotten. He ruled for quite a long time. How to handle the strikes, though? Now the strikes have begun going on for over a month now. The government has started to come up with several ways to solve them. Suppress them. Make an agreement with them. Do nothing. Well... Let's try to make an agreement. We're already bailing out the companies. We're not bailing out the work list, so let's let's see if we can come to some sort of compromise with them, which sounds like something I would choose probably normally. Man, I drink a lot of water. Death charge throwers. Eh, we got enough naval XP for that. We're still trying to train everyone here, too. Oof. Successful agreement with the strikers. Great. Sometimes that doesn't be... I don't think that was always successful. After 10 days of negotiating with the strikers in Vienna, Budapest, and Prague, the government and the strikers finally come to an agreement, or successful agreement. The strikers have already gone back to work. This is the only way. This is the way. Nice. My friends, we're doing relatively okay. Wait. What? Serbs. What? I didn't agree to this. Bad words. Nothing but bad words for you guys. Um, oh, payment received. Thank you. Let's see. I don't want to use any of you all because... Hmm. We can't promote him. I want to get Lotar. Lotar. Bail out them companies. Uh, support the major companies. Oh, wait. Oh, this is oh, this affects this stuff. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I should have read what was going to go on happen first. That's right. De dis redistribute the agricultural land. Oh my goodness, I did something. Agricultural boom, that's kind of cool. So, but we have to go this way. So, Ruthenian riots. Some groups of Ruthenian nationals have severely damaged the infrastructure of Stanislaw and Transcarpathia. These include railways, bridges, and roads. The tensions with the Ruthenians keep on rising. We might completely lose control of the territories. Those gosh darn dudes. Well, I mean, they're already low. Also, Daimler. I kind of like that, but that's uh, the one you have to get choose. Oh, Skoda. Decreases tension to the tanks. With the checks. What the heck? Non-aggression pack. What the? What's going on? What? Consumer goods for that. Boost weapons production. Um, I kind of want I should have done the other one, because that one seems a little bit more interesting, at least to me. Oh, well. What's done is done. Exploit the mines. Oh, I love exploiting people. I mean, exploiting mines. Uh, civilians. Industrial boom. Alright, seems okay. Not great. Ooh, new construction methods. Oh, we get another research slot, though. Oh, uh, continue public works. 70 days, good lord. I want another research slot. Oh, I gotta do that. Find new construction methods. With the development of new technologies comes the development of new ideas. With a combination of these two, we can find new and more efficient ways for construction. Nice. Oh, god, that's so bad for us. Oh, good lord. DV holds to power, okay. Payment received, great. Interesting. Yeah, I gotta institutionalize the Vienna Circle. 
I've got to. A fifth research slot could be really, really good. But happy 1937, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. Let's go ahead, come over here, and get some more output, because we could really use a few more gunnerinos. But, institutionalize them. Vienna Circles are gathering the brightest minds of the University of Vienna. Brilliant mathematicians, philosophers, natural scientists who are at the forefront of scientific and philosophic philosophic or philosophical research we will make government funds available to them but also move the work to new more practical fields i love artillery i love blowing our enemies up from afar beautiful my friends let's see so the croatian riots several groups of croatian nationals have severely damaged infrastructure in croatia these include railways bridges and roads if tensions with the croats keep on rising we might completely lose control of the territories oh boy oh boy oh we have 32 political power look at that oh uh, hi 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 that's not bad Bosnia, we want to lower the Bosnian tension. But I, general lobbying would not be bad. Chaos and Pod Gorica. We knew the unrest of Montenegro was bad, but it appears the entire region was a house of cards ready to collapse with a serious crisis a few days ago. The murder suicide of a Serbian, Serbian family and a crew soldier with cynical sympathies met since Pod Gorica. Podgorka into chaos. The military in the area blamed for the incident had little effect on quelling protests and eventually order broke down in the region's capital. Andrzej Rodovich, the veteran leader of the People's Party in Montenegro, subsequently the Montenegrin Parliament, declared Montenegro as a secession from the Liberian Union. A few hours later, another action would be brought in to create a formal South Slavic Union between Serbia and Montenegro, while the Illyrian army would be permitted safe passage out of the now Serbian land. In just six hours, Montenegro had legally annexed itself into Serbia. <clears throat> the, the events are highly suspicious, but everything about the secession and union does seem legal, rather and rather than reckless Serbian intervention in our affairs, it appears that they were for once a neutral party, regardless. The entire incident is outrageous and surely requires a response. The military is, as expected, proposing full mobilization on our armies to deal with the Serbian problem once and for all. It's an alluring prospect. The Serbians also weakened following, uh, are also weakened following Black Monday, and according to the intel reports, their army is heavily under man. However, the Kaiser is refusing to authorize such an operation, where that another world could collapse a fragile system holding Austria and Hungary together. Instead, he has requested that we issue a stern diplomatic complaint while preparing an operation to break up the Union once the Empire's internal issues are solved. Belgrade will pay for this. I don't want to lose the political power we have already. Uh, why? Why do you paint me with this? Ah. You know what? Screw it. General lobbying effort. I'm going to board it. All right. We'll see what happens with that. Hey, here we go. So, when removed, Slovakia. Oh, second Russian civil war. Received. Oh, good. They pay us before the civil war. So, one ethnic group. Ooh. I thought we were able to see. Oh, that's Slovakian rural. So, we don't even know. Can I send volunteers? We can send. Oh, we can get involved. I love getting involved in other countries' affairs. I love it so much. Actually, these tanks are 12 combat width. They're not really that great. But they're better than anything else we have. So, Panzas. Actually, just do this. Take these guys out. Oh, I love getting involved in other people's wars. Now oh, we have 100 into our bombers. We're not going to use those, but, you know, whatever. Not bad. How many planes can we send over? Oh, 105. Uh, I don't think they have a, probably have a lot of planes. Let's try to use the close air support, even though we're not making any. Right, we're not making... Oh, we're making a slight bet. So, France announces, announces the Treaty of Vienna. The French have just announced that they will no longer follow any of the restrictions following the Treaty of Vienna. Should we intervene and, and issue economic sanctions or just ignore it? Ignore it, we have our own problems. Economic sanctions, that's probably the best one to do. Uh, I can't really do anything here. Nice, let's do some damage, boys. Oh, crap, they actually do have planes, don't they? Oh, crud. Uh, Stukas, let's come back. Alright, you guys, let's... Actually, I could split you guys in half and do half and half, but uh, I don't feel like it. Nice. There you go. Romanian rats. Several groups of Romanian nationals have severely damaged infrastructure in Transylvania. These include railways, bridges, and roads, and tensions with the Romanians keep on rising. We might completely lose control of the territories. Those bad words, Romanians. Bad words. All around. Lota, yes. Yes. Oh, but offensive. Oh, I don't have enough. I don't have enough command power. Oh, this is going to be a really good one to do here. Go, boys. Go, go, go. Don't lose Tarzan. Nice. Happy 1937, like I said earlier. Let's get some of that and let's grab some other things. Such as. I'm not really sure what we're going to grab. Signal companies. A land auction. Oh, but it's going to take so. Uh, 
I'm going to go superior firepower. Let's go with it. this one for this campaign. Oh, the Germans are here too. Nice. Uh, I'm not sure if we can actually get down there in time. We'll see what happens. But, you know, I don't want the Soviets to win. They weren't super easy to take out, but they were relatively easy. You just had to figure out how to take out them Soviet boys. So, oh. There's slightly more political power. Let's go ahead and do continue works progress, more stability, more support, political power, subsidize. I want to do this one. It's 35 days. We get some more political power too, and some more stability and more support. Many regions within the empire are not informed about the imp reforms implemented by the government to overcome the depression. The citizens in these regions, therefore, have little trust in the government. By introducing national broadcasts across the, the entire empire, we can boost the morale. Great. I had a fifth research slot. That's so beautiful, my friends. I'm so happy for this one. Yes. 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 A thousand times yes. Uh, we don't extract any of this, so getting more extraction from that, from the ground, would not make any sense. At least for now. Artillery, support companies... Uh, you could probably throw these on our tanks. That would be a good idea. Oh, they're actually attacking us here, too. Oh, they oh, yeah, lost started. And why are you go breaking my heart? Why? Why? Hey, but in the meantime, we're here to get a lot more army XP and lose a lot of tanks. Croatian rights. Oh, what the bad words? Italy. What? Several groups of Croatian nationalists have severely damaged the infrastructure in Croatia. This include railways, bridges, roads. Tensions with the recruits keep rising. We might completely lose to these territories. Um, I don't like what's happening here. You can't trust the Serbs. You never know what they're going to be up to. My goodness, you guys take so long. Um... Go down there if you can. See what you can do. Are those Greeks? There are Greeks here too. Nice. Hey, how about else? I hope you're learning. I hope you like education. So, hi, 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 hi. I still want to lower the Hungarian stuff. Education in Bosnia might be good to do as well. Provide the Romanian farmers of Transylvania with subsidies. Uh, hmm. Oh, what's going on? Oh, Mexico is killing itself. That's fine. We're not really concerned about them because we can't do anything about them. National broadcast. Nice. Agricultural subsidies. End of the depression. Well, we'll come back and do public works later on. Let's just stabilize the inflation. Uh, a nice bit of inflation is not a bad thing. Hyperinflation is. We have to get rid of all that money circulating in the market and fast. The prices of bonds have been lowered and interest rates cranked up to the maximum. We now have to wait and see the effects of these measures. Nice. And then we'll do the Ausgleich probably. Oh my goodness. Uh, actually, no. I think we got to do this one first just because we want to get... Because ethnic minorities with an alarming tension level will not attend the Ausgleich negotiations. Alright, so with the Ausgleich of 1927 ending in the absolute turmoil between the former Kaiser Karl and ethnic minorities, people and politicians within the dual monarchy are nervous for the upcoming Ausgleich negotiations. It will also be the first Ausgleich with Otto von Habsburg as Kaiser. Oh, Kaiser. Not Kaiser. Kaiser. Those the wrong results could lead to total collapse of the Empire. Oh, crap. Well, that's not good. The options chosen during the Ausgleich negotiations will decide the focus will be unlocked afterwards. Oh crap, I'm probably going to screw this up. Alright, so we got some political power. High, high, high. Oh god, there's so many people that are high. Uh, Bosnians will probably stay normal. I want to lower the Hungarian stuff. But we can't do that because we have no civilian factories. B Bosnians... Uh, research speed's okay. I don't want more construction speed and factory output, actually. <sighs> Opening, okay. Every 10 years, we have a meeting with the representatives of different parts of the empire to find a compromise of the, on power over the people. All right, so. Okay, now we're doing actually the Ausgleich, so we can't do anything here. All right, so be it. We might just go ahead and try to grab early mobilization, maybe. It's only 100 political power, which is not bad. We might try to get some more land auction stuff. You guys hold for now. That's fine. They really don't like us up here. We'll do our part. Attenders of the Ausgleich negotiations. Who shall we invite for the Ausgleich negotiations? On one hand, we could only invite Hungary, who has been a major part of the empire over the years, or should we invite representatives from all parts of the empire? Inviting Hungary alone will make sure to make them more loyal, but may upset the smaller minority states within our empire. Inviting everyone, however, will give us a better perspective on the people within our nation. So, actually, let's look at our focuses here. So, let's see. The status quo. The Crownland solution. Invite all possible ethnic minorities, crownlands. I don't want to do crownlands. I really don't feel like doing that one. Foam? Oh, Croatia. Gives a puppet. Army defense. Oh, duels and revitalize. And that just seems like the way we got to go. I want to get more democratic. So, a successful agreement has not approved. With, So, this one says, has invited all possible ones. The status quo. A successful agreement is made with all the Oscar attendees. Fulfill Hungarian compromise. 
This sounds like we should only invite Hungary here. Um, potential Hungarians and Croats. I still eh, invite just Hungary. Tension level Hungarians go. This increases tensions with everyone else though. So all minorities with the tension level below dangerous will attend the outside negotiations. Uh, I, I will try that one. Uh, why do you? Uh, you guys, oh, you guys go down here then. Help them out. See what we can do. Just hold. Oh, do we actually lose here? That's not good. All invited delegates have arrived in Vienna. Surprisingly, all delegates we, we've invited have arrived in Vienna and are ready to change the nation for the better. It is time to make history and unite our nation more than ever it has before. They still might be able to beat us up here, which is not good. Oh, man. Soviets, just hold on. Wait till June or something like that. Uh, motorized, we need more. So, delegates propose the Kremlin Solution. The Kremlin Solution is a plan proposed by multiple delegates to give all the parts of our empire more autonomy. It's been proposed by earlier Auschwitz negotiations, but considering the current state of the empire, it may be a good time to actually consider implementing the solution. If we accept their deal, then our nation will change into a union of federated states with each state holding equal power and headed by a current ruling Habsburg monarch. If we do not accept all delegates, from, but the ones from Hungary will abandon the Auschwitz negotiations. Is that what we need? This got to be considered. All attendees will be... Del attended delegates will abandon any further negotiations besides Hungary. Oh, crap. Has approved? Well, I don't want to go down that way. I do want to go status quo, so this cannot be considered. Cool. So we've not approved it, so we have to go status quo at this point. Or we'll just, like, die in a fire. They've left the meeting. After our denial of the, of the proposed crown solution, all delegates apart from the Hungarian ones have left the meeting. It seems that they only came with... They only came with the intention of gaining a higher level autonomy rather than trying to make the nation stronger. I guess we'll continue with just hungry them. Hey, you know what? They have the option to leave whenever they want, so they exercised their rights. We'll put it like that. Mm, can you? Political improvements. There are many ways we can improve our political system if as the one we currently run is updated and ineffective. If we modernize the political system, it will be sure to improve relations with Hungarians, especially. It may be hard work, however, to make these changes. It may be simple to just stick with the status quo. We've done so much already. Rejecting too many offers could cause the Hungarians to boycott the Oscars to start another Hungarian revolution. Increase tension with the Hungarians. Um, because of that, I might just go ahead and retreat all our soldiers to uh, Austria. I don't know if uh, these guys will stay with us, so... Uh, I'm not sure why you're gonna do that. But there we go. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. Uh, we can accept these terms. Decrease tensions. Modernize our systems. We we want to be successful, right? If we reject it, they might have a revolution. We want a successful agreement, so we can accept these terms. We want to have success with just the Hungarians, because we love Hungarians. We we don't like anyone else. Hungarians are the biggest minority we have. Maybe, maybe not. We want to make sure that they're nice and happy. That is the way, my friends. I have a feeling I'm screwing this all up, but whatever. Proportional representation. Several European countries have adopted proportional representation, a system where the amount of votes determines the amount of seats that the specific party has in the Reichsrat. We should consider adding more form, some form of proportional representation if we're to truly learn what is best for our empire. And the people living within it, we must make this change. If we do not... If we do not, it will surely upset the minorities in our country and may cause future problems. All voices must be heard. This will only benefit the minorities. Increase attention. All right. Oh. Approved machine tools. Very good. It is June 8th, 1937. And what else shall we do, my friends? Mm, artillery. Artillery. Logistic security companies. Eh. They're not bad. Naval stuff, maybe? Are we missing anything here? Not really too much. We have the base level guns. We can't get over there. Torpedoes. Everything else is looking pretty good. I suppose we can grab some sonar or smoke generators. Eh, grab some sonar because we can. Ten research slots left. Just so tasty. Ah, oh, man. Hmm. If you want to come over here too and help out just in case. Oh, yeah, the tanks are not doing great down there. Oh, more Hungarian representation in the Rexhop. Hungarians are a major part of the empire and have been for quite some time. To keep them on our side, we should give them a bigger say in empire's policies and decisions. They're considered the other half of the monarchy. Yes. They're still high. Well, that's not good. Can we actually win here? Maybe? Yes? Oh, now the Russians are going in. The Russian Republicans are going in. Uh, extraction? I ah, we'll also do it, right? 
running out things to research in this current year. Nice. More investment with Bud within Budapest. While deciding where to invest in our empire next, we've got a golden opportunity to appease the Hungarians by investing in the capital city of Budapest. If we set on this course of action, we we'll surely go a long way towards repairing relations with them. No, Vienna, VLP Center. We're two capital cities. Oh, we lose political power. Screw it, we already don't have political power, so. Why not? The Hungarians should be, like, super happy about what, what we're doing with them. Oh, they must have had, like, the buff, the debuff removed from them, so now they can actually probably do a little bit of damage here. Or else, construction 2 is beautiful. Let's go and grab some of this as well, because we will probably build some, some synthetic refineries eventually. Closure of the Ausgleich negotiations. The uh, Ausgleich negotiations have come to a close with a positive outcome. We've made substantial amounts of progress to better represent the Hungarians within the Austro-Hungarian politics. But the ethnic diversity within the Empire still remains a difficult point of con discussion to solve. At least it went better than the last time. So we lose political power, get some more stability for 10 years. Holy bad words. That's a long time. 10 years is like 10 years, man. That's a lot of days. So they should be really... Why are they so, oh, why are they so high? I thought we were doing all that would, you know, lower the tension by quite a large amount. Oh, no. Hopefully we can get... Yes, we can go status quo, which is probably the more difficult route to go. Maybe except for, maybe except for stabilize the uh, Hopsburg throne, but whatever. Uh, Held Rouse, anything else here? No. Lota, anything else here? Oh, yes, offensive. Oh, Panzer Leader, though. We gotta go offensive, though. And then Panzer Leader. Thank you. Can you not send... I think you can do this. There you go. Nice. I still have plenty of planes right here. We're scrambling some of their enemies' planes, so it's not too bad. I want to finish this focus and get to one more focus, and then we'll call it an episode, shall we? Yes, we shall. As long as the Russian Republic can hold first uh, here, then they, it'll probably win. So, several groups of Polish nationals have been severely damaged in this infrastructure of Krakow and Lemberg. These include railways, bridges, and roads. If the tensions within the Poles keep on rising, we might completely lose control of the territories. Those bad word Poles. But we love the Poles. We love them with strippers dance on them. Artillery, not bad. Oh, there's some enemies over there. And we'll end with a status quo. <sighs> Hopefully. With the closure of the last clash, we can start to look back at what has been achieved. And we haven't really achieved much. <laughs> Our empire is still dominated by the Austrians and Hungarians, even though the balance between those parts have significantly improved. The other minorities living within the empire are overall disappointed in the results. As such, the Ausgleich has basically led to nothing. So let me know in the comments below, like, including with the thing I asked about Germany before. Um, when I place Austria-Hungary again, or, what campaign have I played with already? Like, have I... I'm pretty sure I played the Nubian Federation. I could be completely wrong. Maybe I won status quo earlier on, actually. I can't remember, but regardless, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know whether we should use Ostrodalmer or Skoda in the comments below. Regardless, thanks for watching, and have a great, great rest of your day.